guys welcome back to the channel it is thursday currently 10 50 in the morning we're here at pot belly picking up an easy cater order through zifty pay 19 bucks going like two miles so let's see if it's right in hello sir just picking up an easy cater order Table plus okay, perfect. Thank you. Cool. It's a pretty small order, if you guys can see. It's literally like five different things, and that's it. Cool. See you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, we're leaving here the pot belly. As you guys saw the food was ready. Uh, it's a very small order, everything fits in one in one bag really. Um, we're only five minutes away. Five minutes away. I've been to this building before. It's funny because it's called like the Edelman. Kind of like Julian Edelman, you know, from the Patriots. But uh, anyways, we're four minutes out. Today a little bit different. I mean it's supposed to it was supposed to rain all day today, but you guys know how the weather is. The weather always changes. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what we can do today. Hopefully it'll be busy. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys at the drop off. Let's go. Guys, we're here at the building. It was pretty close. It's kind of windy, so hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, but it took me to like the rear, which kind of sucks because I thought they would have their own entrance in the rear. They don't. So then we gotta go to the front. So yeah, didn't really use the card. I just uh, figured we could use our hands. You know what I mean? Our strength. But yeah, good instructions, where to go, who to give the food to, so it should be smooth, hopefully, hopefully. See you guys inside. Look at this lady. Thank you. Hello, is this to ask for uh, Shan? Perfect, thank you so much. I'm going to take a quick picture and then thank you so much. Let's see. Perfect. All right, you're all set. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Alrighty, guys. So we are gone from Edelman Financial Engines. So we got the order dropped off there from Zifty from Pop Belly, and I'm like, you know what? Let's try something different today. So we're actually in Fairfax, my literal home zone where I live, and low-key already regretting it. It's 11:46. I've been here for like almost 40 minutes before getting something that was remotely decent, and we have our first order from 7-Eleven, paying 9.25 little under five miles i think i mean it's not there's like a bunch of other closer 7-elevens but i guess this is the one closer to the customer which i guess that kind of makes sense but uh yeah and it's raining now a little bit so i don't know i already feel full of regret <laughs> um, but you know we're, we're just gonna tough it out i'm already basically next to my house anyway so can't get much worse than what it, it already feels like so yeah that's the update we'll see you guys at the 7-eleven Let's go. Right, guys, we're here at the 7-Eleven. You know what's funny? The 7-Eleven is real popping uh, at night. Especially when I'm working and by this area. They're probably the best ones. So, we'll see. Let's see here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up, it's women and children, honey? What am I supposed to say about that? Jeez. Helping battery women and children. That's it's a good cause, but uh, what could I possibly do? Seven has got their own like hot wheel line. This seven ninety nine. What? Your seven eleven pricing is wild. 
$7.99 for a little toy car. You must be out your mind. It's not even a uh, Hot Wheel. It's insane. Hello, I'm just picking up a door. That's order for Ben. Ben. Not Ben. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. Don't even know what it is. It's just one item. Can't even see it. That's it. Thank you. Yo, I didn't even know. Yo, this, is, this is wild. I did not know you you could um get like tobacco delivered. I'm so confused. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the road. Hey guys, so we're leaving the 7-Eleven. So I thought it was odd that on the seven in the 7-Eleven, like the item thing, like the item, the item description, there's nothing. Typically, it says what it is or whatever. Now, I'm not a big tobacco person. To be honest, I have to look this up. This is chewing tobacco. Uh, Grizzly Lung Cut Wintergreen. Again, didn't know you could get this delivered. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, they're only... Uh, not very far away. Yeah, let's see. Looks like they're only around the corner. Five minutes away. Um, but yeah, so that kind of threw me off with those ladies. I knew they were asking for something. But it threw me off. And they're like, oh yeah, we're here supporting like... What did, what did they say? Like battered women and children. Um, and they're asking for anything uh, like food. I don't even, I guess that, that could help. I don't know. It just threw me off. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's get this dropped off. Never before in my 21,000 deliveries have I, have we done a tobacco delivery. Like I said, I didn't know you could do that uh, here in Virginia. Maybe it's a new law. I don't know. A bunch of new laws went into effect a couple days ago. So maybe that was one of them. I don't know. I gotta look that up, but um, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, we're here at the drop off for Mr. Ben. Who I'm pretty sure I see him sitting outside his house. Uh, let's see. Got verified his ID. Cool. Hello. You got your ID? Oh, perfect. Got passport, no problem. Oh, quick seconds here. Every time I say that, it never loads quickly. Ah, there it is. And just a quick little thing. You can just squiggle something up here. I'll walk up for you. Nice. You're all set. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. That was pretty simple. Um, so it's nice when the passports go through quick. I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. Now, they get the text that you get when you're almost at the customer's house. Just the, the, you know, typical, oh, it's alcohol. Make sure you ID them, all that stuff. But not alcohol. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing that must be a new thing. Who knows? I have no problem delivering anything 21 as long as they're, they have ID. So, yeah. Anyways, current time is 12.10, and we are not even at 30 bucks. It's going to be one of those slow type of days for sure. I can already foresee it. It feels slow. It feels very slow. Um, so yeah, every time I try a new zone, this happens. <laughs> That's why we go back to good over reliable uh, and resting. But you know, it, it could just be a lot of dashers. I don't know. But I think if I do want to try a whole area out, I would try it for like a week. You know, that's a long sample sample period to try a zone. But uh, yeah, today, not looking so hot. We're gonna go back to the same area in Fair Lakes. There's a bajillion restaurants, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Jersey Mike's, Guapo's, Chipotle. What else is there? There's a bunch of pizza places. There is literally a bunch of, there's a Target there, there's a Walmart. What else is there? There's a BJ's, which I'm pretty sure all those by Walmart are on DoorDash, so yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys hopefully soon. Next hey guys, you know, same old story. It's been forever. Current time is 12:30, and we're here at Baja Fresh now. Somehow Baja Fresh has outlived Regal Cinemas to my left that just recently closed. The Chinese place that also recently closed. Honestly, Baja Fresh is not very good. Uh, they don't have that many locations either, but uh, somehow this one's still here. So, yeah, I don't know. I haven't had it in years. And, uh, yeah, it's just not very good, but somehow they're open.
I've never seen drinks like this. And I'm also when you go to like a theme park. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I'm sure they're probably spending a ton of money printing these out. Anyways, let's see here. Well, not that far. I think the order was showing like 925 for like four or five miles. So, yeah, after this, we might even be done. That's just how uh, slow it's been. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that it's uh, been slow. Been slow. Thousand years later. Okay, guys, guys, we're back outside. Current time is 5.25, 5.25. And we have our fresher orders here from Uncle Julio's paying like 12.50, I think. Not even two miles, not even two miles. Uh, it's raining. It's gonna be one of those like nasty type of, type of afternoons. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I think we finished the beginning part of our dash at not even $40. It was terrible, it was slow not cool um but hopefully now it'll be busier i don't know at this point i want to make at least 125 is that even possible today i'm not sure but we're definitely going to try we're almost at the first drop off which the gps hold on leave it to my door blah, blah, blah. go to the lobby okay cool they left some good instructions so it's all it's all it's all gonna be it's all gonna depend if the concierge is there because if not, it'll take a little bit longer, but that's okay. So anyways, let me get this first one dropped off. We'll see you guys in a few. Okay yeah, guys, we get the first order dropped off. And let me tell you a story, a quick story. So yesterday, right? Remember I told you I had a delivery early um, with Zifty, no, no, through Delivered. And then they had sent me a stacked offer from True Food Kitchen that I shouldn't have taken, total mistake. So when you wanna cancel an order on Delivered, it's not the easiest. You can't just hit a button, sit on a sign. You have to call them, kind of like explain yourself. I mean, I'm sure you can make up a story, whatever. But I told them, hey, you know, this merchant is really, really slow. I, want, I wish to be on the sign. I have a different catering on a different app about an hour from that delivery, right? And the guy goes, oh, so you're choosing like the other app over us? And I was like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this merchant is really, really slow, which they are, they suck. Uh, and I should have taken the order. I wish to be, you know, on a sign for me. He goes, okay, not a problem, blah, blah. Next thing you know, I don't receive any more offers from Delivered that day, right? Which is already kind of weird. I always get at least one or two, you know, trashy ones. And then that, the open board, which is like where all the open orders go, I couldn't sign in. They kept saying, oh, not available in your region. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. It's definitely been here. So then I contact Sift, uh, not Sifty, Delivered. I said, hey, I think something's wrong with this. They tell me, oh, it's going to be 24 hours. Try again. If not, let us know. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of weird. So then I contact support again today. No offers have come by the entire time at all. And then, and then this customer rep, shout out to whoever his name was because he never told me his name. He's like, oh, it looks like there's a hold because you bailed on your last delivery. And I was like, bailed? I was like, I didn't do that. I called like four hours before the delivery. 20 minutes after I took it because I said, hey, you know what? I made a mistake. So, like, how is that even fair? Like, bailing the four hours? If I would have called, like, I don't know, 20 minutes before, an hour before, maybe I'll consider that bailing, but four hours? So, then he goes, oh, yeah, I'm going to submit the report so this hole can be lifted, blah, 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 blah. I think the other agent got salty when he said, when I, I guess I, he, he thinks, oh, you want to do a different app and not our app or whatever it was, so... <laughs> I don't know, but that kind of sucked. So we're, we were in delivered jail for basically about a day. Well, technically I still am. But anyways, let me get this dropped off. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys, we got both orders dropped off and we are $1 closer to 100 bucks. <laughs> and then we have this set of stacks here from Panera Bread. I think it's paying 13, some change, something like that. Go ahead, sir. Oh, thank you. No problem. Uh, the miles are pretty low, I think, but again, we're running out of time. It's already 6 o'clock, so, you know, there's that. Let's see. Hello, I'm just picking up for Jasmine and Zach. Okay. This is Jasmine's. Cool, thank you so much. Let's go. Hey guys, we're leaving the Panera Bread. 
And so yesterday there was an issue with the earnings. The earnings weren't loading, you know. And then today I got an email from DoorDash saying, oh, here's $10, you know, for what happened yesterday, which is cool, you know, because assuming they give everybody $10, that's a lot, you know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday. I even talk, uh, contact the support because, you know, it's kind of weird that your earnings aren't showing up. And they were like, oh, we, could, we can see that you did an offer, that you did that you, that you did an order, but it hasn't, like, settled yet or whatever. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, got, got a free 10 bucks. Thank you, DoorDash. Now, we're basically already almost at the drop-off. As you guys can see right here, let me show you. What we got to do is cross the street. It's going to the Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott, which is directly across the street from the Panera, which is kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, once we get there, drop it off real quick. Keep it going. And, uh, again, we're going to run out of time fairly quickly here. So, we got an hour and a half left. Not much time. So, yeah, man, these people are taking forever. Like, people need to make lefts are taking forever to make the left so I, that I can go straight, which is very annoying. So, like, this turn shouldn't take this long, but people just don't know how to drive. Um, and then, you know, it rains a little bit, and then, you know, it gets even worse. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, we're here at the Marriott. Hopefully, it'll be a smooth, quick drop-off. I'm pretty sure I don't need a key card here to drop off an order, so that should be fine. Hello. Thank you. Oh, it's cold in here. It's hot outside. Yeah, no, I'd rather be cold than hot, so it's all good. Yeah. Let's go wild. Okay, it's 710. Incredibly slow. I was about to call it a day and just, you know, say, hey, whatever, it's an L. This one comes along 1975, I think, or 19, 19 something from uh, Tate's Bakery and Total Wine. So I said, you know what? Why not? Let's at least try and do this and get close to 50 bucks. So for the whole day, we're not even going to finish at $100. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, but we're making our way now to Total Wine. We got the order picked up there from Tate's. So yeah, see you guys at Total Wine. Guys, we're here at Total Wine. The rain is starting to come down just a bit harder. This order is not big, not small. I don't think I need the cart. So I think it'll, I think it'll be okay. Um, you know what, just to be safe, we'll just grab a cart. Just to be safe. Hey, what's up? Good, I'm just picking up for Robert. Robert B. People tell me Kelly, and I'm like, which Kelly? <laughs> yeah. The one with the Y, the one with the I-E, the one with the T, and the Right, 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 right. I went somewhere else, and they were like, you have a order for Chris, and they were like, with the K or the C? And I was like, uh, with the C? <laughs> you know, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> and there's some that were like, well, that's definitely the other one, because yeah. I've never seen that name <laughs> <laughs> ah, Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Okay, guys, we're making our way here to the first drop-off. Current time is 724, so we're dashing a little later than I normally would dash. Um, so hopefully we're not late for the W2. I think we're going to be right on time. But again, today, not very busy. Lunch was a dud. Dinner was a dud. Didn't have a whole lot of catering. We only had one little one. So tomorrow, we're probably going to be dashing maybe more into like the later times. And then, of course, stay through and do some ride share. So tomorrow should be a good day. Um, but the food delivery game, at least in my market, the last two weeks has been relatively slow. Like the normal food game, you know, the normal orders. But the catering one, if anything, stepped up a lot. There's a lot of catering out there, you know. So now all the orders are good. Don't get me wrong. And, of course, when, you know, some of the apps get butthurt, like deliver that I... They didn't want to do an order because that freaking place sucks. Had the guy told me, hey, you know what, we're going to... Even if he would have told me, hey, you know what, because of this, we're going to, you know, suspend you or whatever. I would have been like, okay, at least I know, whatever. Not not just say, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and assign you. Thank you for letting us know, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, shadow ban you, basically. Um, which is kind of messed up, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, we're three minutes out from the first place. For the first drop off the building low key kind of hard to get into after five because the concierge is gone although she did put a really good instructions use the touchpad and then she gave me her full name 
she can let me in and then according to her there is a food drop off that has a fridge in the lobby I don't even know what she got that she would need a fridge for well I guess she has drinks uh, or I might be in the lobby to pick it up so there's lots of different options hopefully she's in the lobby if she's not We'll give her a call. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's the update for now. We'll see you guys. In a bit. So we get the first order dropped off, man. That was a mess. So she takes forever to answer the call. When she answers the call, okay, I'm gonna open the door for you. I say, okay, thank you. And then typically you hear like a little chime and it says door open. Never happened. Called again, she wasn't answering. Luckily though, there was another like, you know, person who lives there that was picking up their food and I was like tapping on the window saying, hey, I just wanna drop this off. So I can leave. So we dropped it off and left. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, now we're four minutes away here from the total wine order. So we're almost there. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to work. So you know, food delivery game, kinda slow here, at least in my market. Uh, I'm sure tomorrow it might be busy in Arlington because it's just a different, it's a different animal, you know, more city-like, it's a little more busy. It's also more complicated with parking and this and that, so. Yeah, anyways, oh, by the way, there was, so you know how I made that, that video when I got the $40 banger from P.F. Chang's? And they had all those signs for like, beware of towing and this and that. The local Fox channel ran, uh, you know, like a segment about the towing, because I guess some new law just passed, in which basically they're trying to fight the towing companies for like, you know, the predatory towing and whatnot. They interviewed a dasher who was waiting at that P.F. Chang's and he said his car got towed. Told me he had to pay $155 to get his car out. He was like, man, this is two days, two days pay. Like, this is not cool, you know? And I'm like, man, two days pay, it's kind of rough. But then look, look, look at my day. I mean, we're barely gonna make not even a hundred bucks in one day. So he's not, he's not far off, um, but that sucks. I'm always worried whenever I go pick up food over there. So if the food isn't ready at PF Chang's, I'm gonna be sitting right by my car because you're not getting my car towed. No, sir. Anyways, current time 7.34. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we're here at Mr. Robert's house. And this is the last order. So today we delivered our first ever tobacco, like chewing tobacco, to the DoorDash. And now we're going to finish it with some wine. Hey, Mr. Robert. How you, How you doing, doing, sir? Pretty good. Sorry. I don't, you, I don't, yeah, I don't want you to get wet or anything. That's all good. Just quick little skin. That should work. Nice, and it's a quick little, let me yeah. just squiggle something up top right here. You're all set, thank you so much, have a good, good night. night. Thank you too. <laughs> okay guys, so we got the order dropped off and it went up to $21, so that's kind of surprising <laughs> now. If we, even if we add the $10 that we got from DoorDash today um, for what happened yesterday with the earnings, we're not even at 100 bucks. If my math is correct, we're sitting at 94.50 including those ten dollars so a rough one today but honestly i think i've been working a lot less than what i used to work you know before i used to sit through i don't know why i turned it off i used to sit through the dead times now i've been going home relaxing playing call of duty hanging out with the fam so even though we're not making as much money i feel like i'd be making even worse money if i if i'd be staying out there considering the time the hours you know so i think going home is the right move and then coming back out um so yeah, anyways, we're gonna be at work relatively soon. We won't have time to stop at the Wawa. But so like, remember to like and subscribe, get your boy up to 7,000 subs. We just need like 993 more people and we're almost there. <laughs> anyways, this is all I got. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe, peace.